let's welcome our MC for the night, Nikki Fado. Hey, everybody. Okay, wow, well, Alex and Miss welcome to my campfire on uh, Netflix, bringing Hazen home for you guys. Um, so this is definitely going to be a unique night. We're not quite sure how this is going to go, but we're going to do our best. Um, so Alex and myself are co-hosts on this. So there's going to be times throughout where we mute everybody just to make it easier. So there's no background noises um, and things like that. But then there's going to be a few of those like call and uh, response songs and where we're going to unmute a bunch of people. Um, so it might be a little glitchy, a little awkward, but we're going to do our best because we definitely want to have that interaction with you guys tonight, and we're so excited for that. Um, but if you know the first two rules of campaigns, and please help me out, the first rule is that you must have fun, right? And the second rule is you must be safe. Must so be safe. Fire, yeah, <laughs> if you have a at home, there's a few people. Don't get too close, okay? Um, and the third rule is a newer rule for some people, but it's you must learn something. So hopefully tonight you learn a new song, maybe you meet a new person through here, um, but we're really excited to um, do this virtual campfire. So the first uh, game we're going to do tonight is if you know me and you've seen my campfires last few years, is you know that I am the high on master, okay? So we're going to play and it's going to be a little bit weird. So. If you get out in this game, I guess just like, normally we have people like sit down or move out of the way, but maybe just don't do the action and we'll do our best to figure out who the winner is. Maybe if Alex and Juan and Jake wanna help me monitor the three pages, cause I didn't think about that mm -hmm. <laughs> when uh, we said we we're gonna do high on master, but we'll find, figure out who the new high on master is. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna say, hi, yeah. And at the end of that, I'm gonna do one of three actions. So follow along. The first one is bear. Can everybody do bear? Nice. The next one is fireball. And then the third one is snake. Okay, so if you match me in the action, you're out. So the last person um, who's left standing is gonna be the new high on master, okay? Does everyone think they're ready? Um, maybe okay. if we- uh, maybe You have a question? question? Yeah, maybe if we um, get out, we can mute ourselves. I like that. Everyone starts oh. unmuted. unmuted. Everyone, oh, God. Mute oh, nice. yourself. God, that's you're so out. much noise, man. <laughs> wow, this is going to be so nuts. I'm really loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my. I'm going to go up. This is so funny. Okay, is everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 there, got uh, oh, that can be a practice jump. Practice jump. <laughs> okay. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you want to come to campfire? No. Let's go. Let's go. I'm still in. All right. Ready? Hi. Oh. 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 No. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the oh, no. Let's go. Working. This is so funny. I can only like hear people laughing. Okay, ready? <laughs> Oh, I see okay, a couple of people still in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> okay, so if you have if you're out, make sure you're muted so we can see who's still in. No entiendo nada. <laughs> All right, Alex, are you looking at the other pages to see? 
I was just helping a couple more people, people get the password, so I actually haven't seen who's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who thinks they're still in? Raise Where's your hand on the screen. Like this. Uh, me. Hi, I'm Master. Well, we're both in. <laughs> we're both still in. Okay. No, I am in. He's out. I think. Out. Okay. Oh. Alex, Cage, keep your hand raised if you're still in. <laughs> I'm not. Anyone on this page? Oh, I think I like everyone's out. <laughs> oh no, there's still Alex and a couple more kids. Oh, Laura has raised her hand. And and then you guys. Okay, we'll do one more time. Okay, if you if after this, if you don't match me, you're all the winners of Higher Master. Okay, ready? Last round. Ready? Hi yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so we have some learning curves to to like work on, but that was really fun. Good job, everybody. Um. Okay, so up next we. Alex, by doing that, you muted me too. <laughs> um, okay, so up next we have our favorite pizza man, Juan Rios. Yeah. Yay, Juan. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is the first time I'm gonna I'm doing this. So I don't know how it's going to go, but I'm super positive. You most of you know these songs, okay? So. This is a repeat after me song. This is a repeat this after me song. Repeat after me song. song. I had to as I do song. And as I do song. song. And a song that you need to stand up for. And the song you need to stand up for. Stand up for this one. He can't make it. <laughs> Hey, 
on your face. Chips. Granola bars. <laughs> All right. I see a few people have their cookies. <laughs> okay, I think you guys are good to go. Okay, right. cool. So if you have your cookie, you can place it on your forehead. And you can start moving your face in three, two, one. <laughs> I already lost. I already lost. Great job. If you lose, you can you can start again. Just put it back on your forehead. No, I changed you to come Remember who was really good at this? I have crumbs in my hair now. <laughs> 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 no. I think Juan is just eating his cookie. I got it, everyone. Cookie. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. Good job. Amazing. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Who else got it? Give us a shout out. What the? <laughs> nice job, everyone. That was awesome. I think a few people are still going. A few people are just eating their cookies. <laughs> awesome. Okay, it's back to me. Hey, everybody. Okay, awesome job on that. Thank you, Kelly, so much for doing that. Um, up next, we have another sibling pair. We have the Detours with the song. Can everyone hear us? Yes. Yes. Oh, yay. All right. Nicola. This is a sing along as you learn it song. <laughs> this is when I was one. <laughs> the 
day I went, I climbed more to me. We're going this way, that way, forward, backwards over the Irish Sea. A bottle of pop to me. <laughs> and that's the life for me. Hard when I was when I was two, I ate my shoe. The day I went to sea, I climbed aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forward, backwards, over the Irish Sea. A bottle of hop to make me hop, and that's a life for me. Hard. When I was catching up, or when I was three, I kicked a bee. The day I went to sea, I climbed aboard the pirate ship, and the captain said to me, "We're going this way, that way, forward." for me hard. When I was six, I got new kicks. The day I went to sea, I climbed aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, we're going this way, that way, forwards, backwards, over the Irish Sea. A bottle of pop to make me hop and that's the life for me hard. Woo! Can everyone hear me? Okay, perfect. Oh, awesome. Thank you, the tours. Um, you guys were like a little scratchy there for me. I don't know about other people, but um, we still awesome. really appreciate it. It's awesome. Um, okay, so up next we have a skit. So is Cam Gray, are you and your dad ready? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, go ahead. Thank you so much. Oh, what are you doing? I can't believe you made me do this workout. Why? Why is that? I, you know, in my day, it was simple. You did a push-up. You did jumping jacks. Now it's like a burpee. You got all this stupid stuff. Like, why, why did they change it? I don't know, man. There's a lot of new things going around. I mean, speaking of new things, did you, uh, did you pick up that thing I asked you to get yesterday? The, the bandana? The bandana? Yeah, I got it. I got uh, it. Yeah, cool. So, like, after this workout, I think I'm really, really sweaty. So I need to wipe down a little bit, wipe my forehead. So I'm just going to, like, fold in half a few times. What? Just fold in half a few times. Seriously? Yeah. I don't, I don't Like, is this another thing that your generation has totally screwed up for me? No, I think you just got to fold it a few times and then just like, once you get it there, just like sort of dab your forehead a little bit with it and just. Why would I? Seriously? Wipe, wipe the sweat away on your forehead and, you know. That, that seems like a really odd idea. Like, what, what, what's the point of that? Just come on, just do it. Just, I mean, it's cool. I'll just grant you that. Out. It does cool you down. Oh, and then you got to get your neck because, you know, we did, you know, a lot of. A lot of neck workouts today. Really? Because this is this feels kind of gross. I'm, really? Oh, make sure you get your armpits too. You don't want those stinking or anything like that. This just seems like a really bad idea. I don't. Oh God! Seriously, why are you so much trouble. What are you? What, are you what doing is over like? There? What happened to like the old workout where you just wiped yourself down afterwards? Isn't that not what you're doing? Wait, what I am wiping. Doing? My, I'm wiping. What are my... you doing with the banana? I said bandana. Bandana. <laughs> what the heck? All right, that's it. Yay, thank you so much. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> thank you guys so much. <laughs> the cool thing about this too, guys, is that like you guys did as a family and that was awesome. That's a different way that we can bring Hazen home because um, most of the time it's just the kids that get to see that camp. So we really appreciate it. Um, okay, up next, Sarah and Grace. Do you guys, are you guys ready? Do you have your song? Yeah, all right, go for it. Can you hear us? Oh, we're I think muted. we have to click something. Ah. Uh, can you hear us? Are we unmuted? Oh, they can hear us. Thank you, Detours. Okay. <laughs> ready? This is a repeat after us song. 
So this is a sing-along as you learn it song. You learn it song. And a do as I do song. And a song you need to You can unmute yourself if you want, people. <laughs> I point to whatever is dust. Dust is my father. Yeah, mom. That's what I learned. <laughs> Just as my eye blinker, young girl, come on with your eye blinker, sweat browser, come on, come on, come on, come on, that's what I learned in this school. I point to whatever is dust here. This is my horn blower, young girl, come on with your eye blinker, sweat browser, come on, 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 that's what I learned in this school. Uh, I point to, I to whatever is dust. Dust is my soup strainer. Yum, mom. I point to whatever is dust. Dust is my cheater. Yum, mom. I Chin challenge. 
but I guess I don't need it. Well, I love Campfire and I think that there's no, uh, Campfire is not complete without a great story. So without further ado, I have a story for all of you guys. Um, and it is called The Legend of Hardhead Ned. Can everyone give me a thumbs up when you are ready to start? Nice, okay, ready? <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a remote Tasmanian trailer park, there was born a little baby boy by the name of Nedson Wilbury. Now, Nedson was not a lot like other babies at that time. You see, Ned was born with an extraordinarily hard head. And every time he fell, he didn't get hurt. No, his head only got harder. Now, Ned was also a very adventurous little baby, and he used to love to climb trees and explore the forest and uh, jump off of rocks and throw sticks in the lake. But one day, Ned was out exploring farther than he had ever explored before. And he got a little tired and he decided to take a little nap underneath a tree in a field, unbeknownst to him, full of pumpkins and wolves. But just then lightning struck, and a cry cut through the night like a siren on a fire truck. Ned survived by the slightest luck. He wasn't dead, no. He was alive and strong as a buck. This is a miracle we're hearing, and the creatures of the evening came creeping to the clearing to see this little man nugget, soon to be immortalized in poetry just like the man from Nantucket. 
But as the little babe was grown, they raised him in their home and raised him as their own. He roamed in trapeze from the tallest trees. He got his steeds from the wallabies. They all loved him. But the Tasmanian devils loved Nettie more than all of them. They taught him how to spin like a fan till Ned spun himself into a fine young man. But one day, like a sick disease, loggers crept in and chopped all the eucalyptus trees. They, they scared away all the cuddly forest creatures and started building factories for body wash and sneakers. But Ned escaped and yelled angrily that, that, that you abandoned me, you spooked my family. But gosh darn it, I can't use your pity. And he snuck onto a ship bound for New York City. Ned's voice led him to the deepest, darkest, dankest bowels of that ship. And he met all sorts of seedy characters on his voyage, like the old Japanese men and, and their wives. He had all kinds of meals, like, like fresh cut sashimi and, and pumpkin pie and all kinds of delicious breads and cookies and cakes. When he was on that voyage, he knew what lied ahead. So he kept his sights set on New York City. And before he knew it, he arrived. Ned almost drowned. He kissed the ground, but his guts were all churned up in this town where down was up and up was down. So the boy from down under flipped right around. Ned did a cartwheel, but stopped halfway. And he walked on his palms from that day. But city folk treated Ned like a freak. They said, that hand walking lump headed yeti can't even speak. One night walking home, Ned was quite shocked. He saw a b-boy spinning on the sidewalk. He couldn't stop, wouldn't stop, staring at those limbs, spinning like a wooden top, sweeter than a pudding pop. Ned was home at last, and every night he'd watch him dance through the glass of the club, and he'd wait there in line for his chance, but the bouncer said, freak, you can't dance. Ah, uh, but Ned, sweet little Ned, he, he wouldn't get out of line. And the bouncer pushed him and pushed him, but to catch his balance, Ned hard-headed. And upside down, Ned did what Ned did best. He just spun. And he spun, and he spun, and he spun! Go, Ned! Go, Ned! Go, 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 Ned! Everyone in the club came out to watch what is now regarded as the greatest head spin of all time. And legend has it, that little Nedson Wilbray is still out there on Bleecker Street, spinning on the curb to this very day. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. That was awesome. Such a good story. What's a campfire without a story, right? Okay, so we are down to our last act of the night. Um, we always like to end with a nice song. So please welcome the McCormicks. We're gonna sing a song on the guitar. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? So it's gonna be the two musically talented McCormicks. <laughs> Can you guys hear us all right? Are we gonna try yeah. out or anything? Are we okay? Thank you. I think we're good as long as everyone else is muted. Keep your hands. 
so many different faces that was that was awesome that felt like camp hazen so thank you guys so much so we're gonna end our campfire like we end every campfire uh, oh my with god singing of taps the um, sea of taps <laughs> um by our executive director denise learned if she's if she's on there she is awesome and the words are day is done gone the sun from the lakes from the hills, from the sky. All is well, safely rest, God is nigh. I need everybody to unmute and we'll sing it through two times. <laughs> Day's done <laughs> on the sun. The lakes from the hills from the sky. <laughs> God is not God is
Edward, you're on. My name is Edward W. Hazen. And it, in addition to founding and being the namesake of Camp Hazen YMCA 100 years ago, this is my first time using a computer. So please be patient. I'm happy, happy to recognize many of you from my past visits, and I hope my message and personal challenge helped each of you get the most out of your time here. I am here tonight representing the spirit of Camp Hazen and what that spirit has meant to me and will mean to each of you. Let me tell you a little of our history. In March of 1920, I purchased the original 29 acres here on Cedar Pond and donated it to the state YMCA. The first summer was a success. Boys from 10 to 20 years of age coming here from around the state where they built their own tents, swam in Cedar Lake, attended chapel, ate hearty meals, and yes, they had a tent inspection and an hour of what they called siesta. Many things have changed since the first summer. A new dining hall was built after the 1967 fire. Camp went co-ed in 1979. Day camp was added in 1990. The climbing wall, alpine tower, and new archery ranges were built, and many more changes and improvements. Yet after 100 years, Camp Hazen remains a safe place where you can be outdoors, learn new skills, make new friends, and be a part of the Hazen family. I came here tonight to give you a challenge. I know things are a little uncertain these days, and it can be tough not being able to see your friends or do some of your favorite activities. So I challenge you to bring Hazen home. Even at your house, uh, you can play with responsibility, listen with care, treat each other with respect, speak honestly, and live in unity. Of course, while maintaining proper social distancing practices. If you meet this challenge, the next time we are all by the pines, we can share in the spirit of Camp Hazen YMCA together. Awesome. All right, everybody. Well, that wraps up our first virtual campfire. Um, I hope you guys all had so much fun. Uh, I thought this was a blast and it was great seeing everybody. Um, what I want to do really quick before we go, I have two things. One, if everyone could smile into the camera, I want to take a couple screenshots um, from my computer. It's going to take me like two seconds to look at the camera and give me a big smile. Ready? One. Let me, I have to go through three pages of people. Hold on. Two, three. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, so we are going to be doing some other fun virtual things in the future. So um, tomorrow, I believe we have a cultural moment. Jake's going live on Camp's Instagram at 10 a.m., Jake, right? Yes, 10 a.m. Um, and then what else are we doing, Alex? What else is the next thing after that? You're muted. We have lots of fun things up on the agenda. So tomorrow we have Steph Mueller is gonna give the cultural moment. She's from Switzerland, but is currently living in Germany. So that's 10 a.m. on Instagram. Uh, next Tuesday, we're gonna have a talent show live on Instagram hosted by Juan. The way that works is Hazen will go live. You can be watching it. And then if you have a talent you wanna show off, you can request to join and you'll get a split screen. So just Juan and you will be on the screen if it's an instrument, if it's singing, is it a dancing, whatever you want, you can uh, showcase that talent. Next week, we'll be posting a pre-recorded video of Behind the Window, cooking with uh, Chef Stro. So he's gonna be teaching us the famous Hazen chocolate chip cookie recipe. We are gonna have next Thursday at the same time, a candle lighting ceremony. So our traditional end of session ceremony, make sure you bring a candle. It'll be hosted uh, by Denise, um, and we'll be having our traditional ceremony with speech and everything like that. 
the place you can find all of this information, I put a link in the chat. It's camphazenymca.org uh, slash youth dash family. So you can go on there and stay up to date. We'll be posting new stuff all the time. Uh, the Facebook um, banner, if you see on Edward Hazen, you'll see all of the uh, things there as well. Uh, so uh, hopefully everyone can join along um, for future events. Awesome. The other thing is, is we will be doing other campfires in the future. Um, they'll come out on our page. So if you're ever interested in performing in one, um, just like tonight, you can always shoot us a message. Um, when you see that coming up, just shoot us a message on, you know, Facebook, Instagram, you can email us um, as well. And we'll like look at putting more people in the campfires in the future. Um, and I think that's all we have for everybody. So thank you guys so much for joining. We had so much fun. I hope you like our fire. <laughs> <laughs> Kath made a great fire. Hit, you know, if anyone saw Kath's campfire earlier, give her a round of applause. Thank you. Um, you know, some people are saying, stay safe, everyone. Now go wash your hands. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> um, all right. Bye, everybody.